Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. Today we're taking a look at the combined form of Minosaur from Transformers Combiner Wars. And I have a mixed emotions on this figure. <laughs> I'm really excited to have them together and to be able to merge them to make Minosaur, but there are a lot of issues with this. This is a very clunky gestalt to say the least. Um, I. I, I don't know. I just, he looks very apish to me. Um, the biggest problems I got are in the hips down here. The way they're angled funky and you lock into place, they don't really give him a lot of stability. And it just seems like it's one ratchet away from being right. I really, really don't like that. Also, the back of the shoulders um, don't lock into place. And that is frustrating. You can hear the parrots getting upset about it. Uh, it's just really, really annoying. Um, the other thing is Blackjack. He falls off like that, and that is highly frustrating. I did talk to a fellow YouTuber and a friend of mine, KateUp83. There's supposedly a fix for that on Shapeways.com. Definitely going to check that out, see if I can get something to kind of hold him better into place. Uh, because he does fill out the chest cavity really, really nice, and I really appreciate that. Now, I've got Minosaur plugged up in the official mode with uh, the back of the package showing which vehicle goes where. Um, and that's an okay look, I guess. I never really cared much for which vehicle was where on um, Minosaur, but it looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks, well, kind of like Minosaur. Um, let's see, just kind of a close-up real quick. So here's his head. A lot of people are not digging this head sculpt because they say it looks a lot like Unicron. I can definitely see that. Um, but uh, it is what it is. At least they tried, I guess. Um, I do like Blackjack sitting there. I just, I wish he was more stable. Um, so does the parrot. Here is drag strip as an arm. Now I've got his sword. I just don't know what he done with it. Uh, it's laying around here somewhere. Um, there we've got dead end as the other arm looking really cool those horrible, horrible hips. And then we've got Wild Rider and Breakdown, not Wild Rider, but Off-Road and Breakdown as the legs. Um, so yeah, um, not too terribly bad. Um, definitely a lot better than um, the Fall of Cybertron figure that we got out of Bruticus, but it's just not as stable as the Superion figure. I think that was the better design of the two Gestalts. And it's really kind of disappointing because I like the Stunticons a lot better. For comparison, and here he is next to the Masterpiece Year of the Goat Soundwave. Here we have Minosaur next to Mania King, AKA not Galvatron. Here's Minosaur next to the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime with the DX9 armor upgrade. Here he is next to KFC's Transistor, AKA Not Blaster. So here we have Minosaur and Superion side by side, and well, I like Superion better as a Gestalt, really. Um, there's something just kind of apish about the Minosaur figure compared to this one. I think this one's a lot more stable. I think it's built a little bit better. I think it's a better proportionate, and the hips. The hips on Minosaur just drive me crazy. And the shoulder uh, is not locking into place back there. I think that is just really, really bothersome. And it's a shame that it doesn't have the stability that this uh, Superion figure has, uh, for sure. But they both look really, really nice together sitting on the shelf. Um, I am going to get the Lone Wolf figure so I can get a more G1 accurate um, Minosaur, and I'm hoping that the Lone Wolf is built a lot more like the Superion to give me a lot more stability. Now, much like Superion, Minosaur is able to get a much more G1 accurate look, which I do appreciate as a G1-er. Um, the original Gestalt had the vehicles facing reverse so that you saw the robot portion instead of the vehicle. And you can do that on this one as well as the Superion figure, which is really, really nice. I also, in this mode, took off the little purple breastplate that was on Blackjack, so it gave it more of a G1 look because you just had that little black card that hung over on top of Minosaur. So just kind of a close-up really quick. 
Um, here are the legs. Again, you just spin them around backwards so that you've got the robot modes facing forward. Um, and then you've got the back of the vehicles uh, here. So yeah, I mean, that is a really, really nice option. And then of course, here is Blackjack without um, his uh, little breastplate. So much more G1 accurate which is really, really cool. I do appreciate the fact that is an option in the figures. Um, to be honest, I think this looks a little bit cleaner than the uh, aerial bot version. I like the aerial bot version that had the vehicles up front. With this one, I'm kind of on the fence. I think this kind of makes it a little bit cleaner as a gestalt and doesn't give him as much of an apish look for some reason, and I don't know why. So, is Minasaur a figure you want in your Transformers collection? That's a good question. Obviously, if you're combining all the Stepticons together, you're going to make this figure. Um, that was the point of the Combiner Wars, is to get this guy. However, I mean, to be honest, I think a lot of the robots in the Stepticon set are collectively better as individuals than they are combining to make this thing. Um, with some of the design flaws of the figure, it makes him very loose, very fragile. It's almost like playing with the original G1 Devastator. Things just fall off of him, and he just doesn't pose very well. Um, those hips and shoulders are just piss-poor designed, and I have no idea why they designed Blackjack to go so loosely on the uh, chest cavity. That was just very, very bad design, in my opinion. Uh, very unfortunate, uh, but... We do have a Minosaur. If you're just going to put the figures together and put them on the shelf, he's definitely cool looking and he's a lot cheaper than the third party figures that are out there. That being said, I am going to pick up the Lone Wolf figure that uh, gives it more of a G1 style and hopefully makes him a lot more stable. So there he is, Minosaur from the Transformers Combiner War series. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. Definitely subscribe to my channel, share my videos. I really appreciate it. Add a comment below. What do you think of Minosaur? Do you like him or was he a big, bad disappointment to you. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys, and as always, look for more videos in the future.